Hey guys, Soul Closet here, back making another Minecraft video thingy. And this is a follow up to my previous mod tutorial on the Fossil and Archaeology mod. Everyone's over there commenting about how it's different from 1.5.2, and rather than having you guys read comments that may or may not be vague, uh, I'd rather just show you guys. And this will be a full tutorial like the last one, except for the 7-zip part, because everyone was asking whether or not you can use WinRAR. You can use WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-zip. I prefer 7-zip. If you don't have one, get 7-zip, because you'll be able to do exactly what I do. But, if you know what to do, because you've used your, your zip opener before, you'll be fine. So, you can use any zip opener. It doesn't matter. With that said, let's go to the first link. Now, this link will be in the description. Um, it's the link to the mod page. But what you have to do there is different than the last time. And I don't know if you can see the little bandicam box in the corner of my screen, but probably not. So, whatever. Anyway. Um, so, it, it'll look like this. Um, you've probably seen this before. You've got to scroll down, past the red text, until you see the first blue text of the whole page. It'll say fossils slash archaeology revi revival 1.5.2 build 0005. At this point, it, they might make a new build, but the installation is the same. So build whatever, pre-release, click direct. This will just take you to the media fire page. Click download the green button. The green button in the little box that says media fire. Any other ones will be fake and you could get a virus like my friend did. That would not be fun for you. Um, I would suggest getting Adblock if you use Google Chrome. Adblock Plus. But um, that's, you know, maybe at some point I'll show how to get Adblock Plus. Because it's just so useful. Anyway, uh, that's not my thing though. So, you should have this file. You want to go to your downloads folder. And you want to see it. It'll be, it'll download, and it'll be in here. So when it downloads, it'll be here. You want to take it, and you want to drag it out onto your desktop. So there should be a zip file called, and it might not look like this, because I have seven zips, so mine look like this. But it'll say fossil archaeology build five, or build whatever, pre-release. Okay, keep that there. Now you want to go to the second link in the description. Okay. And this site is a very is very slow with loading, so it might take a bit. That was pretty fast, actually. And you want to okay? So there's just going to be everything ridiculous over here. Where it'll say Minecraft Forge downloads, it'll say promotions. I don't know why. Maybe there are ads there. I don't know. But if there are, don't look at them. It'll say latest and recommended. Next to recommended, go all the way to the end and click Universal. This will take you to an ad fly page. Again, don't click anything in here. Even if it says download, even if it says skip ad, don't click that. Click this one. That's why it's in the blue. For those of you who already know that, I don't mean to make anyone sound stupid here, but there are people who don't pay attention to those kind of things, and I don't want to mess up anyone's computer. Okay, so um, that cut there was, if you even noticed it was because um, I checked something and I did already have Minecraft Forge installed. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it with a new, you know, regular Minecraft. So um, you want to open Minecraft, have all your info in there, you know, username, password. Go to Options and click Force Update. In other words, you're Force Updating your Minecraft. Do that. It should re-download all of Minecraft pretty much. Uh, this is not going to get rid of your worlds I don't think but it will get rid of any mods that you have basically what it's doing is re it's redownloading all the things that Minecraft had when you first got it and it'll show the Mojang screen and this is just to make sure that it works because if anyone says it doesn't work but they had mods installed and they're not telling me then that's really bad so if you don't force update and it breaks that's not my fault it's just disclaimer here Okay, wait, I can't do that. Okay, so now, I, I, I didn't explain any of that. I probably should. Okay, you want to go to Run, the program Run. Um, in Windows, anything, really. In Windows 8, you open up the big thingy, type in Run. Uh, actually, it's pretty hard to find Run. In Windows 8, if you have Windows 8, you can probably figure it out. Windows 8 is weird as shit. I don't even remember how I found it. If you have Windows 7, go over to the Start menu, which will be right here, and type the word Run in the little search bar, and find the thing that has a logo that looks like this. 
Okay, it looks like a little blue message, I guess, with a little bar on it. You sh whatever you have for Windows stuff, it should open this little box. Type in percent symbol app. No, god damn it. App like an app, like an application. D A T A like data. Percent symbol. So percent app data percent. Should open this thing. You should see dot Minecraft. It might be at the top, it might be at the bottom, it might be in the middle. But you want to find dot Minecraft. Double click on it. Okay, you'll see these folders. Bin, resources, save, stats, texture packs, texture packs, what MT or whatever. Should see these things, maybe more. But what you want is bin. If you have a folder called mods or core mods, delete them right now. If there are any folders called mods or core mods in this, delete them right now. Okay? You deleted them? Good. Go to bin. Right click on Minecraft. If you have 7-zip, you can go to 7-zip open archive. If you don't, go to open with, and if your zip opener does not show up here, go to choose default program. In Windows 8 it says more options or whatever. If it's not in the list, then you want to look for another app on the computer. Um, and in Windows 7 this box will look different. But you want to look for another program, you know, browse, and you want to find your zip opener. Open the folder called minecraft.jar, or just Minecraft, depending on how it's set up, with your zip opener. So it should look like this. It should have all these class files, these dot class files. And at that point, you can X out of bin. Also, at this point, open up Minecraft Forge Universal whatever whatever. Okay? So both of those should be open. One of them should be Minecraft, like I have on the left. One of them should be Forge, like I have on the right. In both of them, delete the folder called Meta INF. It's really bad. If you have it there, it'll break. Now, once you've deleted Meta INF, take all the files from Forge. This is Forge. And select all of them. You can just click and drag. It might take a little... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that. It might take a little, you know, bit of messing around, but you can click and drag all of them. There might be a select all function. I don't know how Win WinRAR works. Anyway, once you've done that, take all the folders, I mean, take all the files from Forge and put them into Minecraft. It should do something like this. If you have 7-zip, say yes. I mean, it, it, the other ones might ask you to. I just don't know about those. In any case, you should have just taken everything from Forge and put it into Minecraft. X out of both of those boxes and open Minecraft. Now, the reason that you had to delete that core mods or mods folder that you had before, if you had them before, was because if you didn't, it would break Forge at this point. Because Forge would download itself, and then it would try to download other things through your mods that don't work. In any case, you should see a mods button now, which is the indicator that you did it correctly. Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge should be there. If anything else is there, that's weird, but okay. Acceptable. Click Done. Quit Game. What did I do with my... Oh, okay, whatever. Open Fossil and Archaeology Mod Build Whatever pre-release. Or if, even if it's not a pre-release, just open the Fossil and Archaeology Mod. Zip file. Okay? Go to Run. I I have a desktop shortcut. You're gonna have to type it in again, and then go to percent app data percent like you did before. Go back to dot Minecraft, but this time you should see a folder called mods and a folder called core mods. In the folder called mods, oh wait no, oh I am stupid. Close the right yeah. Close the Minecraft. Close the fossil and archaeology mod folder. And just put the whole zip into the mods folder inside dot Minecraft. So here it should say your username, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft, mods. In that, you want to put the fossil and archaeology mod zip file. X out. Open Minecraft. If done correctly, and if what I have learned from the website and from people who commented was correct, this should be functional.
If not, you're never going to see this video. Oh, good, it worked. So, this is basically what we did last time, but it works much more easily. So, you can create a creative world to test it out. I, all my worlds are gone because I delete, I, I moved my dot .minecraft up here just be, so that I could keep all my old mods. But anyway, that's not something we need to worry about right now. So you can make a creative world, and if you go into the creative menu... Oh! What the hell? Is that part of the mod? Whoa. You know, I might actually use this mod. I didn't use it before. I'm still not going to be able to answer questions, but just this thing. What is this? Ah! I have no idea what this is. There's an enchanting table, though. <sighs> That's really cool. Oh, broken redstone. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, um... So if you did it right, things like that might happen. But you should also see one out of two on the creative menu. Click the right thing. Ancient blocks, ancient items, ancient food, ancient weapons, ancient armor, ancient tools, ancient materials. All part of the fossil and archaeology mod. Great stuff. Apparently. I'm never going to use it. But apparently, that's all that needs to happen. So, here, let, let's throw a... Di can we throw these? Oh, hell yeah, we can throw those. Diamond javelin! Anyway. Um, so that's all for today, guys. Uh, if the tutorial was helpful to you, then... That's good! Oh, God. Because that's, you know, kind of what I try to do here. Um, if it wasn't helpful to you, or if there's anything I forgot that I just did without explaining, um, tell me. Because, you know, I can add annotations and stuff. I'm probably not going to make another video just because of one thing. But, you know, I'll add annotations and stuff. I can do that. Um, other than that, I already said other than that. But still, other than that, um, that's all for today. So, see you guys next time. So, I'll close it out.